Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Grumman Pilots' YouTube channel, directly supporting the Grumman Pilots' Association. And this morning, we're going to look at our front fork. Now, there are two varieties of front fork. There are the welded variety, as you can see here, and they're welded out of 400 thousandths, 0 0.40 inches of aluminum. And they're wells that we check at each inspection that we have on this and top and the bottom. As you can see, it's all been nicely welded up. Now, this is a refurbished front fork. It was stripped, allodyne, acid, acid etched allodyne, then primed with a proxy primer, then shot with a Imron. In it, you have your tow bar pegs that we all know about, the axle shaft, the roll pins that go on the front axle shaft. That's why you have those two little notches on your front wheel that you stick in. And then we have replaced these in the front. These stop your front fork from turning too far. You can only get 90 degrees. Now, interesting story on this. There was a gentleman a number of years ago in southern Louisiana who decided that he was going to take these out. And this would allow his wheel... When he pushed it back, he didn't have to worry about the broken tow bar and the wheel cocking because it just stretched out. What he didn't consider was where the prop fell on his new fairing and his wheel out on the front side. When he came out to the airport the next day, he didn't pull it out on the ramp. He just started it up in the grass where it was and did quite a bit of damage to the prop and the front. But anyway, uh, that's why these are here and these are new ones in this one and we've also put in two of the new bearings and we shot some very close up 4k video of this bearing in there. And then when you go to assemble it, grease goes in here and all these little wells. And you also put a little grease in here. You grease up all the um, thrust washers and the spindle when it goes in. And then on the bottom, for all the bevel washer stack, all of that is grease. And then you apply some tension. And then you want to swing the wheel back and forth a few times. This squeezes out some of the grease. And then you'll readjust your tension. And after you do this about two times, now you're ready to actually start putting the pull on the uh, nose fork, checking it at the axles to make sure you have 14 to 22 foot pounds so you don't get that shimmy when you run down the runway. So we hope you found all this information useful and informative about the front fork. Um, we just had it here the other day for another video and we thought we'd give you some details on it. Thanks for watching and have a good day flying your Grumman.